using giant dish antennas are readying themselves for the challenging tasks ahead. In the past, their dedication and skill have enabled India to earn praise from across the world and made it proud. Let us wish them well in this great endeavor called Chandrayaan 3. आपके सामने हैं इसरो के अध्यक्ष श्री एस सोमनाथ अभी अभी आपने देखा एक संक्षिप्त वीडियो जिसमें एनिमेशन की मदद से इस पूरे मिशन की यात्रा को बताया गया है इस मिशन के ऑब्जेक्टिव को समझाया गया चंद्रयान थ्री हैज टू प्रोडिस with destination moon as their mission objective. Chandrayaan-1 launched by PSLV C-11 in October 2008 included lunar orbiter and impactor. During the mission life of around 10 months, Chandrayaan-1 had mapped the minerals on lunar surface, acquired 70,000 images to minus help create 3D atlas of moon and what's more, found water on moon's polar regions. Chandrayaan-2 launched by LVM-3M1 on 22nd of July 2019 consisted of lunar orbiter, lander named Vikram and rover named Pragnan. The orbiter is still providing insightful scientific information through its payloads like spectrometers, synthetic aperture radar and cameras. चंद्रयान थ्री की चंद्रमा की सतह में उतरने के इस मिशन को कुल दस चरणों में पूरा किया जाएगा संक्षेप में यह इस प्रकार है सर्वप्रथम चंद्रयान थ्री को एल बी एम थ्री प्रमोचक रॉकेट द्वारा पृथ्वी की एलिप्टिकल पार्केट ऑर्बिट जो कि 170 सौ सत्तर बाई किलोमीटर की ऑर्बिट है उसमें प्रमोचित किया जाएगा वहां से चंद्रयान में मैनोवर कर पृथ्वी की गुरुत्वाकर्षण की सहायता से चंद्रयान की गति को वृद्धि की जाएगी फिर चंद्रयान पृथ्वी की कक्षा से निकलकर चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जाएगा चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जाते ही उसमें फिर से मैन्यूवर कर चंद्रमा की 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा में स्थापित किया जाएगा फिर सही समय आने पर लैंडर मॉड्यूल को प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल से पृथक कर दिया जाएगा यह आप अपनी स्क्रीन पर देख पा रहे हैं यह है प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल का मुख्य उद्देश्य है लैंडर तथा रोवर को पृथ्वी की कक्षा से चंद्रमा की कक्षा में जो कि 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा होगी उसमें उचित अभिवृत्ति में लैंडर मॉड्यूल को अपने से पृथक कर चंद्रमा की सतह पर भेजना है ऐसा करने के लिए इसमें एमएमएच और मॉन का प्रयोग कर 440 न्यूटन के थ्रस्टर्स वाले इंजन लगे हुए हैं इसमें आवश्यक संचार सुविधाएं भी उपलब्ध है Speaking about the major milestones in the journey of Chandrayaan-3 to the moon, the spacecraft consists of propulsion module, lander and rover. Lander is planned to touch down at south pole of moon. The major 10 phases of the mission are the first phase called the Earth-centric phase comprises of pre-launch, launch, ascent and earthbound maneuver. While the second phase is the lunar transfer phase, as the name suggests, the Chandrayaan spacecraft moves closer to the moon. Next fa eight phases are in the moon orbit, the third being the lunar orbit insertion, followed by the moon-bound maneuvers phase, Vehicle which mark the power. fourth phase. And next is, it is now that the propulsion module separates from the lunar Minus module six minutes. when 100 by 100 circular orbit of the moon is achieved. The Chandrayaan-3 in its sixth phase carries out de-boost from withdrawn. 100 kilometers to 100 by 30 kilometers orbit, followed by the pre-landing phase as seventh phase, and then the most awaited Light landing phase takes place. आपके सामने है मिशन नियंत्रण कक्ष का दृश्य 
सभी सेंटर डायरेक्टर्स अपने स्क्रीन पर देख रहे हैं कि ऑटोमेटिक लॉन्च सीक्वेंस किस तरह पूरा हो रहा है दर्शक दीर्घा भी इस इंतजार पे प्रमोशन से हम पांच मिनट की दूरी पर हैं माइनस फाइव मिनट्स मोस्ट ऑफ यू माइट रिकॉल द चंद्रयान टू मिशन and the intense moments when all the enthusiastic indians were waiting for the touchdown of the lander on the surface of moon the launch view gallery with the overwhelming crowd of visitors पूरे दर्शक दीर्घा यहाँ बहुत उत्साहित मौसम में थोड़ी परेशानी हो सकती है लेकिन सब अपनी सुविधाओं के साथ में यहाँ उपस्थित हुए हैं वी आर क्लोज टू फोर मिनट्स फ्रॉम द शेड्यूल लॉन्च टाइम gaining from the heritage of chandrayaan 2 the chandrayaan 3 is upgraded in several aspects for the enhanced robustness Pirate through extensive ground computer. tests and simulation on board computer in flight mode automatic launch sequence jari hai is dauran sabhi sanchar tantro ki swasthya jaanch battery aviation poorn kiya ja chuka hai कुछ अंतिम गतिविधियों जैसे ऑन बोर्ड कंप्यूटर पर रियल टाइम प्रोग्राम लोड करना पायरो लाइन को आम मोड में लाना गैस टेंस का अंतिम आवेशन और यह सभी घटनाएं संतोषजनक तरीके से पूर्ण की जा रही हैं माइनस थ्री मिनट अब हम उड़ान से तीन मिनट की दूरी पर हैं प्रमोचन तथा इस प्रमोचन की घटनाक्रम को पहले ही बताया जा चुका है सर्वप्रथम दोनों एस टू हंड्रेड स्टेपॉन बूस्टर प्रज्वलित किए जाएंगे टी जीरो पर एस टू हंड्रेड के प्रज्वलन के 108 सौ आठ सेकेंड के पश्चात एल वन टेन जो कि माइनस टू मिनट तरल नोदक पर आधारित चरण है इसका प्रज्वलन शुरू कर दिया जाएगा एल वन टेन के प्रज्वलन के पश्चात करीब एक सौ सैतीस सेकेंड पर एस टू हंड्रेड बूस्टर्स को यान से पृथक कर दिया जाएगा We are close to one and a half minutes from the scheduled launch time. सभी दर्शकों को ज्ञात है यह एक ऐतिहासिक मिशन होने वाला है पूरे भारतवर्ष की आंखें इसमें हैं इस यादगार पल के लिए यहाँ सब उपस्थित अब हम उड़ान से एक मिनट की दूरी पर Minus 
minus 15, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, plus 5 seconds. Lift off normal. P1 Here tracking. we have a majestic lift off of LBM 3 M4 rocket carrying India's prestigious Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft. P2 tracking. Prajolan or Safalta Poon Uthapan LBM 3 M4 rocket. Ka. Your beam ka rocket. Asman ko chirte hue. Apni bhayak dahar se charo or kampan utpan kar raha hai. Isse hum yaha mehsoos kar sakte hain. Or yehi dahar hai jo vegyaniko ko romanchit karti hai. LVM-3 के उत्थापन के साथ ही हमारे अंतरिक्ष यान चंद्रयान-3 की चंद्रमा की यात्रा प्रारंभ हो चुकी है। As the rocket is soaring through the clear skies, every second moving closer to the accomplishment of the most important milestone in its mission to moon. Every Indian witnessing the launch live is content with the feeling of watching history in the making. चंद्रमा की सतह पर अपना छाप छोड़ने के लिए चंद्रयान थ्री अपने मिशन को पूरा करने निकल चुका है वर्तमान में दोनों एस टू हंड्रेड स्टेप ऑन बूस्टर सामान निष्पादन करते हुए अपनी निर्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहे हैं Two hundred and four point five tons in each strap on. Close to two tons of propellant being burnt each second. S two hundred strap on boosters ka full prajwalan kal ek so chhabe second ka hai aur abhi abhi koshna ki gayi L one ten stage ka bhi prajwalan shuru ho chuka hai. Apart from the strap on. The core stage has also commenced its operation. This stage, based on combination 200 stages are separated. of hypergolic earth storable Most liquid propellants, UH-25 and N204. Now the S-200s have been separated. Ghatna Karam ke anusar, ya yaan, is yaan se S-200 स्ट्रैप ऑन बूस्टर्स को सफलतापूर्वक पृथक कर दिया गया है यह काम सेपरेशन मोटर्स की मदद से किया जाता है इसके बाद एल वन टेन तरल नोदक पर आधारित और विकास इंजन के साथ यह चरण सामान्य निष्पादन करता हुआ अपने उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर बढ़ रहा है अभियान क्लोज लूप गाइडेंस के अंतर्गत है L1 turn stage performance normal. The trajectory of launch vehicle is closely following the prediction. Payload fairing separated. Yeah, payload fairing ko pritha kar diya gaya hai yaan se kyunki yaan ab 114.8 km ki uchai praapt kar chuka hai. इस चरण का कुल प्रज्वलन काल 200 सेकेंड होता है और इस दौरान यह करीब 1600 किलो न्यूटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न करता है। We are 220 seconds past the launch time. Current altitude is 135 kilometers. In the 200 seconds of its operation, the L110 stage carries the rocket up to 175.5 kilometers altitude and imparts a relative velocity. Of 4.18 kilometers per second, that is 250 kilometers every minute. L110 stage performance normal. LVM3 M4 rocket का द्वितीय चरण पूर्णतः सामान्य निष्पादन करते हुए इस चरण में कुल 113 टन के तरल नोदक भरे जाते हैं। N204 तथा UH25 Earth Storable Propellant को इंधन के रूप में प्रयोग किया जाता है इस चरण में। Stage 
ignition is authorized. Agla Charan, C25 ka prajwalan bhavi hai. Plus 5 minutes. One front stage thrust cut off and separated to a C25 ignition command. 25 ignition confirmed. That's a piece of really good news that the third stage has started its operation. The C25 stage has been ignited. Jihaan, ek bhoat hi jatil prakriya hoti hai cryo engine ka ignition aur iske prajulan ke saath hi taliyo ki gadgadahat se goon juta hai mission niyantran kaksh. Tritiya Charan, C25, vartaman me pranod utpanna kar raha hai. Poonata samanya, sabhi tantra poonata samanya hai. 118 kN, thirst in vacuum is what the stage develops with its 28.6 tons propellant combination of liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Present altitude is low. performance normal. Tritiya aur ya antim charan hai siyan ka C25. यह क्रायो अंधन पर आधारित चरण है जिसमें लिक्विड हाइड्रोजन लिक्विड ऑक्सीजन का इस्तेमाल होता है इसमें कुल 28 टन का क्रायो अंधन पूरी सुरक्षा तथा सावधानी के साथ भरा जाता है इस चरण में एक सौ छियासी किलोनोटन का प्रणोद उत्पन्न होता है और यह करीब 640 सेकंड तक प्रज्वलित रहेगा इसमें दिशा नियंत्रण के लिए इंजन जिम्बल का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है क्रायो ईंधन का विशिष्ट आवेग चार सौ के करीब होता है Currently, the rocket is at an altitude of 210 kilometers. Plus seven minutes. There is, while there is no much variation in altitude, uh, this stage will add to the relative velocity immensely. पेलोड के बारे में जानकारी देते हैं। लैंडर मॉड्यूल्स पे कई वैज्ञानिक प्रयोगों के लिए पेलोड्स लगाए गए हैं। India's prestigious lunar landing spacecraft Chandrayaan-3 moving closer to its intended injection spot in the orbit. The propulsion module provides propulsion for earthbound maneuvers, translunar injection and moonbound orbits. It also has a payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of earth and lunar orbit. The abbreviated name of the payload is SHAPE. Among the payloads of the lander module, the following are included. A landmare probe called Rambha to measure the near surface plasma density, that is the density of ions and electrons and its changes with time. The second payload is Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment or CHAST to measure thermal properties of lunar surface near polar regions. To measure the seismicity around the landing site and delineating the structure of the lunar crust and mantle, payload ISL, ILSA is there. The rover after its descent will further the scientific study objectives normal. through its own payloads. For better understanding of chemical and mineralogical composition of lunar surface, LIBS or laser induced breakdown spectroscope is included. Another payload is the alpha particle x-ray spectrometer. Yes, in the lander module there are three payloads. In the rover there are two and in the propulsion module there is one payload sent. Chandrayaan-3's Swadeshi lander and rover 
में इन नितभारों का इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है यह अंतर्ग्रही मिशन के लिए भी आवश्यक तकनीकों का प्रदर्शन करेंगे लैंडर के पास यह क्षमता है कि वह चंद्रा का चंद्रमा की उबड़ खाबड़ सतह में भी बड़ी सावधानी से उतर सकेगा और रोवर को बाहर लाने के लिए और संचार सुविधाएं प्रदान करने के लिए सक्षम होगा चंद्रयान थ्री के लैंडर और रोवर में कुल छह नित बाहर हैं रेडियो एस्ट्रोनॉमी ऑफ मून बाउंड हाइपर सेंसिटिव आइनोस्फियर एंड एटमोस्फियर जिसे शॉर्ट में रंभा कहा जाता है यह चंद्रमा की सतह के पास प्लाज्मा के घनत्व तथा समय के साथ बदलाव का मापन करेगा इसके बाद चंद्र सरफेस थर्मोफिजिकल एक्सपेरिमेंट चंद्रमा के ध्रुवीय सतह के आसपास की थर्मल प्रॉपर्टीज का मापन करेगा इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर ल्यूनर सिस्मिक एक्टिविटी लैंडिंग साइट के आसपास के क्षेत्र में भूकंप जैसी गतिविधियों का पता लगाएगा रोवर में चंद्रमा की सतह के तत्वात्मक विश्लेषण के लिए लेजर इंड्यूस्ड ब्रेकडाउन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोप और अल्फा पार्टिकल एक्सरे स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोप इसका इस्तेमाल किया जा रहा है एक बहुत ही दिलचस्प वैज्ञानिक निर्भार है शेप स्पेक्ट्रोपोलरेमिट्री ऑफ हैबिटेबल प्लैनेट अर्थ जो कि चंद्रमा से पृथ्वी से परावर्तित नियर इंफ्रारेड किरणों का विश्लेषण दूसरे जीवन सहायक ग्रहों को खोजने में मदद करेगा वर्तमान में C25 इंजन कार्यरत है और पूर्णतः सामान्य प्रदर्शन कर रहा है अब हम प्रमोचन से 700 सौ सेकेंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं सापेक्ष गति 6.5 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकेंड ऊंचाई एक सौ किलोमीटर एज वी हैव टोल्ड यू अबाउट द चंद्रयान थ्री अपग्रेड्स in the aspects of enhanced robustness through extensive ground tests and simulation during the last phase of landing the module will have a vertical velocity of less than 1 meter per second and a horizontal velocity of less than 0.5 meters per second from a height of 3 meters the lander legs are designed to be robust enough to thrive the impact the cameras are tuned to take pictures ahead of the landing and enable intelligent decision making for choice of best location to land avoiding craters and Real boulders on lunar surface normal. the successive pictures will also enable the craft to determine its horizontal and vertical velocity in real time laser doppler velocity sensor is an upgrade in chandrayaan 3 over its predecessor it helps to determine instantaneous velocity of craft insights into the behavior of chandrayaan 2 in the last few minutes of its descent has revealed to the scientists the necessity for upgrade in the guidance algorithm inputs from various sensors are used by the autonomous navigation guidance algorithm of chandrayaan 3 to plan the flight path to the most suitable landing spot the engines of chandrayaan 3 are capable of more gradual throttling also वर्तमान में हम प्रमोचन से 817 सेकंड की दूरी पर आ चुके हैं करीब 950 सेकंड पर तृतीय चरण क्रायोजेनिक इंजन को शट ऑफ कर दिया जाएगा और उचित अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त कर चंद्रयान थ्री को यान से पृथक कर दिया जाएगा चंद्रयान थ्री को एल वी एम थ्री एम फोर द्वारा एलिप्टिकल पार्किंग ऑर्बिट में लॉन्च करने के पश्चात 170 किलोमीटर की परिजी पर क्रमशः पांच बार मैनेवरिंग कमांड दिया जाएगा पांचवी बार में यह पृथ्वी की पृथ्वी से चंद्रमा की ओर प्रस्थान करेगा जिसे हम ल्यूनर ट्रांसफर ऑर्बिट के नाम से जानते हैं फिर 5 अगस्त 2023 को यह चंद्रमा की कक्षा में प्रवेश करेगा और फिर क्रमशः पांच मैनेवरिंग के पश्चात प्रोपल्शन मॉड्यूल चंद्रमा की 100 किलोमीटर की वृत्ताकार कक्षा में स्थापित हो जाएगा यहाँ यह उचित समय और अमृति में लैंडर मॉड्यूल को पृथक किया करेगा 
और 23 अक्टूबर 2023 को चंद्रमा की सतह पर लैंडिंग की प्रक्रिया शुरू की जाएगी We have come close to 900 seconds after the launch. Currently, the C25 stage is thrusting. Current relative velocity is 9.29 kilometers per second. जी हाँ, कुछ शिक्षणों में हम देखेंगे तृतीय चरण एल वी एम थ्री एम फोर रॉकेट का चंद्रयान को उद्दिष्ट कक्षा की ओर ले जा रहा है और उद्दिष्ट कक्षा प्राप्त होते ही और उचित अभिवृत्ति प्राप्त होते ही चंद्रयान थ्री को अंतक्षेपित कर दिया जाएगा अभी अभी पुष्टि की गई चंद्रयान चंद्रयान थ्री को प्रमोचन के कक्षा प्राप्त कर ली गई है चंद्रयान थ्री को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है इलेक्ट्रिकल पार्किंग ऑर्बिट पर चंद्रयान थ्री हैज अचीव्ड मेजर माइलस्टोन सक्सेसफुली चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन अकम्पलिश्ड हैंडिंग ओवर टू मिशन डायरेक्टर मिशन डायरेक्टर द एल बी एम थ्री एम फोर चंद्रयान मिशन अकम्पलिश्ड इट्स प्रसाइज सैटेलाइट इंजेक्शन कंडीशन एल बी एम थ्री एम फोर मिशन इज सक्सेसफुल The launch has also added a feather in the cap of LVM3 rocket. You can watch the jubilee and congratulatory gestures of its two scientists in the mission control center. जी हाँ चंद्रयान को सफलतापूर्वक अंतक्षेपित कर दिया गया है, लेकिन चंद्रयान थ्री की यात्रा अभी जारी है. अब इस मिशन के बारे में हम अध्यक्ष महोदय से सुनेंगे और हम आपसे आगे लेते हैं. We sign off. Namaskar. Up next is addressed by Secretary DOS Chair Ministro. Congratulations, India. Chandrayaan-3 has started its journey towards moon. Our dear LVM-3 has already put Chandrayaan-3 craft into the precise orbit around Earth. 170 by 36,500 kilometer was its intended target orbit, and it is precisely there now. And let us wish all the best for the Chandrayaan-3 craft to make its further orbit racing maneuvers and travel towards moon in the coming days. So let me wish all the very best to Chandrayaan-3 for its further journey towards moon. Before that, let me introduce the team behind uh, this mission, the mission director, Mr. Mohan Kumar, and also the, and also the project director of LVM-3. And uh, we have also the mission director for the Chandrayaan-3 craft, the project director of Chandrayaan-3, Veera Muthavel. So over to them, Mohan. Thank you, sir. Honorable, Honorable Minister of State for Science and Technology and Departments of Space and Atomic Energy, uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh, respected uh, Chairman ISRO and Secretary of Departments and of Space, former secretaries of the department, invited dignitaries, respected uh, dignitaries and invitees, I am very happy to report here that the LVM-3 M4 vehicle has injected the Chandrayaan-3 satellite to the uh, precise orbit. Uh, and once again, the vehicle is proved to be the most reliable heavy lift vehicle of Indian Space Research Organization. Congratulations to the teamwork of ISRO family. 
uh, I would like to appraise three things here. The vehicle systems are in the continuous process of quality improvement, especially in the, uh, in the uh, event of our human rating efforts towards making the systems reliable. Secondly, the payload also, capability of the payload also is improved by mission uh, strategies as well as vehicle engineering approaches. We are in the process of increasing the launch uh, frequency of this vehicle considering the national requirements as well as satellite demands. Here, so many uh, improvements we have uh, incorporated in this vehicle. For example, the S200 nozzle, they are processed exactly as per the human rating standards, uh, uh, enabling us to have 100% NDT and the inherent pocket erosion characteristics are removed. The L100 stage, Vikas engine, mostly it is 100% uh, qualified to be the human rated engine with uh, indigenously developed LDT throats and the uh, pocket, uh, the uh, back wall gas entry also is eliminated and it is a perfect uh, system. Uh, and the C20, C20 stage also is uh, 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 perfectly, uh, 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 actually, <laughs> good, good. So we will, we yeah. will describe all those details later ah, because of shortage of time. Yes, sir. I take this opportunity to thank all the mission executives uh, because <laughs> Mission executives for all the supports all along the uh, launch campaign process as well as the launch. Once the la launch manifest is uh, released and mission executives are identified, really this is a penance of so many across the ISRO centers, our launch vehicle centers, VSSC, LPSC, IPRC, IASU, SDSC, SHAR, URSC and SAC, uh, along with all our industrial partners major players to the, uh, uh, the uh, small scale industries who supply us with uh, all the deliverables in time, quality products, the suppliers of chemicals, propellant ingredients, uh, suppliers of avionic systems, and our own GOCO facility operators. Actually, the industrial manpower is really our ISRO's virtual manpower. Uh, everybody's uh, efforts went into this and uh, called the, uh, also the prayers and best wishes of all our seniors, retired executives, every, everyone's prayers and our own family members. I take this opportunity to uh, pray God Almighty for all the blessings in the form of this success, which was the penance by the ISRO family for last 73 days. And my prayerful pranams for the successful continuous operations of the Chandrayaan spacecraft for its safe and soft landing on lunar surface and further experiments. Thank you. Jai Hind. Respected Chairman Nisro, Center Directors, Dignitaries and uh, my team Chandrayaan 3, very happy to note that our Chandrayaan 3 has been injected into an intended orbit with very close orbital parameters. Congratulations and thanks to LVM3 team. And all our spacecraft health parameters are normal including the power generations in both propulsion module and lander module. Our, our journey to moon has begun now for the most awaited soft landing. We'll be closely monitoring and controlling the spacecraft from East Track Bangalore. Um, many critical events are lined up, starting from earthbound maneuvers, insertion into the lunar orbit, and separation of lander, and set of deboost maneuvers, and finally the power descent phase for a soft landing. I take this opportunity to thank Chairman Isro, Director URSC, and all the center directors for entrusting me this opportunity, who are behind, who, who have been the motivational and guidance force uh, behind this mission. My special thanks to Chandrayaan 3 project executives, Associate Project Director Kalpana, Deputy Project Directors, Project Managers across the ISRO centers, uh, who, have, who have provided an excellent support in building the spacecraft. My special thanks to the the expert committees for their constant guidance throughout the various stages of the project. I also thank the, uh, uh, the various uh, work centers and industries who have contributed directly and indirectly to this mission. My special thanks to URSC council members, group directors, deputy directors across the ISRO centers. And uh, this, uh, looking forward for the soft landing with all your wishes and blessings from the God. Thank you.
Uh, we have our Honorable Minister for Space, Minister of State for Space, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, amongst us during this historic occasion of success of launching of LVM3. So I we would like to hear a few words from him. Over to you, sir. It is indeed a moment of glory for India and a moment of destiny for all of us over here at Siri Hari Kota who are a part of the history in making. Thank you, Team Isro, for making India proud. And thank you, Honorable PM Narendra Modi ji, for having made this possible by unlocking the gates of Sri Hari Kota and enabling the India's space sector. You would recall, Honorable Prime Minister had very recently said, sky is not the limit. And living by his words, I think the Chandrayaan today has gone beyond the limits of sky to discover the unexplored horizons of the universe beyond. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this day today, the 14th of July, 2023, is also a day of vindication. Vindication of the dream that Vikram Sarabhai saw six decades ago. He might have been short of resources, but never short of confidence. And when we see those pictures of a launcher vehicle being carried on the carriage of a bicycle, without any remorse, without any slightest embarrassment, that is because Vikram and his team had faith in themselves, faith in India's potential, faith in India's acumen, and today here, we are vindicating and we are reiterating India's indigenous capabilities living up to the ideal of Atma Nirbhar Bharat. <laughs> and before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, as Mother India enters into the next 25 years of this Amrit Kal, she pledges to play a leading global role in the emerging world scenario of 21st Century. Thank you and congratulations once again. Thank you, sir. We will also introduce the directors of the centers who have done all those great work of building the rocket, building the scientific instruments for Chandrayaan 3, the Chandrayaan spacecraft itself, and made all those critical systems and also the uh, agencies who are going to handle the rest of the mission part, the tracking and the ground, sta ground stations and all those teams will be are here. So I request the directors of those centers to join. First, Director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center. Good afternoon, India. Last one year, this is the 10th mission, including the precise landing of the reusable land launch vehicle. So with this, Mission, this is the seventh mission of LVM3, the successive successful mission. With this, the success rate of LVM3 is 100%. And this is the ideal vehicle for Gaganyan. <laughs> Some of the changes that we are incorporating in Gaganyan we have implemented here. And the uh, Mark III has crossed the reliability of 0.9 and inching forward. So I take this opportunity to salute the entire ISRO community, especially the VSC community and all launch vehicle centers, industry partners for making the stages, making the sub-assemblies sub and testing. In fact, this is the third launch of LVM3 in one year. You know, they're, uh, they're realizing the stages, assembling, testing, and then launching three LVM3s in one year is a Herculean task. I salute the industry as well as all the ISRO centers for this. And And I wish all the very best. We know that when the beginning is good, the ending has to be good. I wish all the very best to the Chadrayan for its solitary journey through the vastness of space and for making a feather-like soft landing 
in the fourth week of August. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Narayanan, Director LPSC. Yeah. Good afternoon to all of you. It is a historical event for Indian space program and a proud movement for all the Indians across the globe on this movement the occasion of the successful launch of the Chandrayaan-3. Three. three in one spacecraft in the required orbit with the highest level of precision by our heaviest launch vehicle, LVM-3. After the two launches of LVM-3 vehicle this year, this vehicle is realized in the record shortest time. Today, once again, all the vehicle systems have performed demonstrated the seventh successive, successful launch. As you all know, the entire spacecraft community has put wholehearted effort during the last four years, and we have realized a marvelous, great scientific satellite. For this mission, the entire vehicle performance is as expected, as predicted. In fact, the precision in which the satellite is launched shows the reliability of this vehicle. And we too have four liquid propulsion modules, two in the launch vehicle, the L110 stage, C25 stage, it has performed extremely well along with all other vehicle systems. We too have two more propulsion modules, one for taking the spacecraft to the moon, another one for soft landing. I think it is already well integrated, the system health is very good. Today's success is the culmination of the dedicated, smart and hard work of all the ISRO team members and the work culture of ISRO and the review process what we follow. I am sure all further mission operations will be a grand success and we'll have the successful soft landing. On this occasion, let me congratulate and compliment the members of ISRO team, our family members who have really sacrificed, the partners from industry and academia and the various review fora. Thank you, Jai Hind. The Chandrayaan craft was built at the URO Satellite Center, so I request the director of URC to speak. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I take this opportunity to first thank my colleagues uh, uh, from uh, the Launch Vehicle Center for providing a textbook-like launch for uh, Chandrayaan-3 on its uh, journey towards the uh, moon. Thank you very much. And uh, as uh, Director LPSC and Director VSSC mentioned, realizing this kind of uh, uh, launch vehicle, third launch vehicle within a year's time is indeed a Herculean task. And uh, thank you very much for the effort that has been put by all the members of the launch vehicle community and the uh, industry supporting them. Uh, coming to Chandrayaan-3, um, Mohan was uh, telling that it is a penance. In fact, it is a penance of the Chandrayaan-3 team for the last four years, uh, which has come today as an outcome. It is uh, sitting like a brain sitting inside the head of uh, a human being on that mighty vehicle on top of that, that uh, satellite is, uh, was sitting. And it was such a, such a happy moment to see that satellite getting separated and uh, our work continues from now for the next 42 days till the, we reach the lunar orbit and uh, touch down softly on uh, moon. So we'll speak the rest of the things after the soft, soft landing on top of uh, moon. Till then, thank you very much for all the members of uh, the satellite community and the industry for your support, which has been continuing over several years and I'm sure will continue in future also. Thank you very much. Uh, space Application Center, Ahmedabad plays very important role in our scientific instruments and building of the satellites. Over to Director SAC, Nilesh Desai. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. At the outset, let me compliment Team ISRO for this excellent work, and especially vehicle team as well as the project team. And as we begin this historic journey towards moon, uh, well begun is held, half done, as it is said. So I'm sure that will succeed in our effort and endeavor to land on moon safe and in secure manner with a soft landing after 45 days. So I wish all the best to all the people who have contributed directly or indirectly 
and especially to the project team, spacecraft team, as well as my team at Space Application Center, who has developed sensors and other hazard detection and evidence system, which will help for a secured and safe landing on Moon. So once again, I thank all who have contributed in this mission. Thank you. Uh, director of this center, Sadir Saman Space Center, is the chairman of the Launch Authorization Board and also realizing the solid motors of this rocket. So over to Director SDS Ishtar Rajarajan. <laughs> Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, respected chairman, our mentors, and the dignitaries present here, and the entire ISO family, we have a very successful launch and hearty congratulations to all the LUM3, M4, and Chandrayaan 3 mission. So, once again, the fat boy has done its job and put a very precisely the our prestigious lunar mission, Chandrayaan 3, in the transfer orbit. And I congratulate the SDC Sharp team because throughout this launch, we had many launch campaigns of 355 and 56. Along with that, we are proud to have this in spite of the weather conditions here, we have successfully launched LUM3 in, in the prescribed launch window time between July 12th and 19th. <clears throat> and we had a very good smooth campaign here and all the hearty congratulations to the entire launch vehicle team as well as for the last two months for hosting the Chandrayaan 3 team here and carrying out all the tests to make sure that Chandrayaan 3 is also ready for the mission. And I also thank our entire logistics team who handled this huge crowd throughout this campaign period, in particular, last two, three days. And I, my sincere thanks to the various Indian industries who are now participating in various aspects of solid motor processing as well as the assembly activities of our launch vehicle to make it successful. And I wish you a glorious success in the future to come. And I wish as mentioned in the last week of August, to have a successful soft landing of Chandrayaan 3 lander on the moon surface and to make history. Once again, thank you. Jai Hind. I request all center directors to join on the podium. Please come, all of you.